What is up everyone? Mark here and welcome to Prepared Pantry episode 5. Today we're going to do some barbecue pork meatballs with bok choy over rice. Uh, bok choy is actually an ingredient that uh, Blue Apron introduced me to. Um, hadn't used it a lot before, uh, but I've used it a ton uh, since. Um, it's really versatile. We'll talk about it a little bit more when we're, when we're looking at our ingredients. Great meal, comes together very quickly, uh, great for a weeknight. Um, doesn't involve a whole lot of uh, forethought or prep. So, uh, in fact, some of it we can actually do while we're waiting for other parts of it to come together. So, uh, before we get started, I want to thank you all again very much for continuing to watch the videos and continuing to support the channel. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Just click the red button down below. And when you do, make sure you hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I have a new video out and you'll never miss one. While you're at it, don't forget you can also follow me on social media at Mark Berm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All right, let's get started. Okay, so some pretty simple ingredients we have to work with today. Uh, we've got half a cup of rice. I like to use sushi rice. You can really use uh, just about any rice you like. Just don't use instant rice. Uh, it will just fall apart and turn to mush. We have three quarters of a cup of water. We have two radishes. We have one tablespoon of uh, rice vinegar. We have two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. You can use um, uh, teriyaki glaze, soy glaze, soy sauce, uh, if that's all you've got, uh, you know what kind of flavor profile we're working with there. And we have a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce. Um, I actually didn't have any barbecue sauce, so I used uh, two tablespoons of ketchup, a tablespoon of molasses, and a tablespoon of cider vinegar, and a little bit of a um, little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, a uh, dash of Worcestershire sauce, dash of soy sauce, just whisk that together. We have a quarter of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, we have a couple of tablespoons of water that's going to be to help loosen up our sauce. We have a uh, one inch piece of ginger uh, peeled and finely chopped. Um, comes out to about, uh, I'd say 20 grams, maybe somewhere close to uh, two tablespoons worth. And finally, we have uh, two stalks or bunches of bok choy. Um, this is a great versatile ingredient, uh, honestly, uh, that, like I said, Blue Apron kind of introduced me to this. Um, it's really versatile in that you can use it for a lot of different things, right? So we're going to separate the uh, leaves on the top from the stalks on the bottom. And the leaves can kind of stand in for uh, spinach or chard or kale, um, as you would use them in almost any other recipe. And the bottom portion uh, can stand in for celery. Um, it kind of gives that same sort of crunch and texture, and you get it all from one ingredient. It's cheap. It's at the supermarket. Uh, why not? So the first thing we're going to do is get our rice going. And that is just going to be the water, the rice, and some salt, or in my case, non-salt. Uh, this no-salt, sodium-free salt that I use uh, is just potassium chloride instead of sodium chloride. Um, tastes like salt, body doesn't know the difference. All right, so we're going to just combine this, stir it a little bit, and get this going on high heat. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to lower the heat to low and just kind of let it simmer there until all the water is absorbed and it's tender. That should take about 15 minutes. Um, while that is going, we'll be able to work on the rest of our ingredients here. So the next thing I'm going to do is slice up our radishes. Uh, we want these to be fairly thin. See how quickly that comes to a boil. So we're going to knock this down to a very low flame, cover it, and like I said, it's just going to sit and cook. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And the vinegar. 
and just kind of toss that together so everything is coated with the veneer. And we're just going to set that aside to marinate for a bit. And now we will work on our bok choy. I want to cut off the root end of each of these stalks because that is not good eats. And then we're going to cut off the leaves. chop down roughly the stem ends, the stalks, and then you can even see how much this kind of resembles celery. And again, we want to get a rough chop on our leaves. And same thing with the second stalk. to add the water and the teriyaki sauce to the barbecue sauce. And just give that a little swirl to combine everything. All right, while the rice continues to cook, um, I'm going to get a few things cleaned up and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, we have here uh, about 10 or 12 ounces of uh, ground pork. Uh, you can use ground sausage, uh, whatever you like, but you want to keep it in the realm of 10 to 12 ounces, uh, just so that it's uh, not too much for the recipe. Uh, I'm going to give this a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. and the ground ginger. And we're just gonna give this a mix with our hands. Just get in there. Um, I find it's easier if you kind of pull apart little pieces of the, uh, of the pork, kind of crumble it. You don't wanna squeeze the meat. Um, it ends up kind of making it a little bit too dense. It kind of prevents the things from mixing in. And we just kind of want to mix and crumble this together until everything is fully incorporated and there's no loose ginger or breadcrumbs in the bottom of the bowl. All right, we are ready to form our meatballs. So I weighed out uh, my meat mixture and I know that in order to do 10 uh, evenly sized meatballs, these are going to need to be about 27 grams each. So I'm going to weigh them out um, on my kitchen scale first and get them set aside. The um, rice is just about done. We're going to kill the heat in a minute and um, just let that sit until we're ready to start our meatballs. Now, as you go through these, you'll kind of start to get used to how much to pick up to get to the right weight. Alright, uh, I'm going to go wash my hands and set the rice aside and we'll get ready to start cooking our meatballs. Alright, we're going to Heat a little bit of olive oil. And we're just going to place in our meatballs. Okay, so we're going to just stir these, kind of turn them a little bit, roll them, you know, shake them around, uh, keep them moving uh, occasionally for a 
about uh, five, 10 minutes. It's really gonna depend uh, how high the heat is and uh, how big the meatballs are. Uh, but once they're well browned and they look like they're cooked through, uh, should be about 160 degrees uh, on an instant read, then uh, we will be ready to move on to the next step. And the idea here is we want to get at least some color on at least a couple of sides. Shaky, shaky, and just let them continue to cook. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, I think we're pretty close. So we're gonna go ahead and add our bok choy stems and then just push the meatballs over to the side. And we're just going to want to give this a few minutes, uh, stirring it occasionally until the uh, bok choy starts to soften. Color on the bok choy. Not quite softened yet, so we'll give it a few more minutes. Okay, I think we're getting close. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to mix this all back up again. to carefully pour in our sauce. And I just kind of want to toss this around, make sure the meatballs are all nicely coated in the sauce, and that the veggies and the bok choy are nicely coated as well. Okay, now we're going to just let this continue to go until the sauce starts to thicken up a little bit. It should only be a couple more minutes. And you can see that that sauce is thickening up very nicely. So our last real step here is going to be to put in the bok choy leaves. And as soon as these are wilted, we are going to kill the heat and we will be ready to serve. All right, everything is wilted and nicely coated. I'm gonna kill the heat on this. And the first thing we're gonna do is plate our rice. And just kind of spread the rice out thinly on the plate. And then we are just going to top that with our meatballs and bok choy. And then this is going to get topped with our marinated radishes. You 
can use as few or as many as you like. So there's no denying that this makes for a bright, gorgeous plate. A little bit of the veg. Meatballs are perfectly cooked. Mm. Beautiful. The ginger packs a powerful punch. That's a lot of flavor. Radishes are a nice crunch. Soft but still firm, the stems of bok choy. And the rice soaks up all that lovely sauce. All right, guys, give this recipe a shot. Tell me how you make out down in the comments. If there are other recipes that you'd like to see here on the channel, mention those down in the comments too. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.